you guys looked at, um, yeah, the Nikki Ray, um, yeah, it's time to mess with that, um, shit, yeah, um, pretty, yep, pretty hot today, so, I hope y'all have a nice Tuesday, uh, can we all let me know, if y'all, on my Facebook, or you follow me on Facebook, I created a, another, uh, group, um, uh, which is Unite, and, um, uh, I think I've always been around that magic, and some of us are more aware of it than others, like their psychic abilities. Uh, I believe we all have some kind of psychic abilities, right? But, um, like to say some of us are more open or aware of them. So, um, I think I just want to come out with a line light, and, um, I wouldn't be afraid of sharing what I've come to believe that maybe I'm, I'm a, um, a witch, so, um, so, it would be, uh, I've been back from, it'll be on my dad's side of family, my grandmother was also practicing Wiccan, so it's on my dad's side, so, um, maybe that's why I am, I'm not saying drawn to magic, and make sure animals and, you know, if you are drawn to that sort of thing, um, look for signs. If you look for those signs, um, then you know you are, um, I've never intend any harm, evil intent, even though they might deserve it, you know. <clears throat> but, uh, there, you, you can use some, like, finding spells. If they deserve, you know, you know, that kind of thing. Um, only if they truly, um, absolutely deserve it. And, so, just let, just let your heart be your side. And listen to your intuition. And I think that I, I have very strong, um, uh, admission. So, always listen to your inner admission. If it's the, the first thought that comes to your mind, it usually is like the correct answer. Um, so, I can give you an example. One day, I was going to try to investigate the uh, cemetery at night. Okay? And uh, we took, well actually, first I took one look at it, and I'm like, I don't think that's a good idea. And then, um, so, maybe if somebody was telling me not to go in there that particular time, for some reason. So, I uh, always listen to your inner side, I don't see guys. Maybe I'll talk about spirit side more. Sorry, I have allergies. So, uh, if whatever subject you want me to talk about, then let me know guys, and I'll do some research and I'll try to share. And I've got some reading materials that uh, I need to brush up on. As well, I'm just a like mini course in magic. So do that, do your homework before you do like any spell casting. Make sure you read it to, to the core of your readings and everything you have to do. Everything. So uh, I've been quite successful in just the basic spell. So just start off basic and gradually move up to more of that magic. So, uh, just be aware that if you don't follow the, uh, like, Say recipe <laughs> before and uh, might backfire and might regret it almost. So I've been pretty lucky so far. Um. So yeah. Anyway, I just want to let y'all know I'm coming out of the library and uh, I'm not gonna let anybody scare me off. And um, and, you know sometimes some family members might be fine and say, "But oh, you're a witch." No, I never let anybody. Um. Bring it down because you have a passion for it as, um, certain, you know, like a witch or paranormal or whatnot. So, yeah, just whatever, um, whatever is your passion, just go ahead and do it and don't let anybody scare you off and put you down. And that's the point where this is happening in this world right now. That's like, you don't let bullies put you down. Alright, um, Okay, there's a famous saying that I find remember it. Uh, not let anybody let you feel inferior. Unless, 
Rồi, bắt đầu mình ra phút Để hát phái này ông chờ vậy Rồi, uh, that's my Ước phục cho này Currency for inspiration Rồi, um And it's also just to do your research if you want to know more about magic And there's a local library Yes, there is still library standing, so And besides online, there are really great resources online now So yeah, I highly recommend to try the library, the old fashioned way If you hands on books <laughs> That's what I like um, about researching the old fashioned way I would have gone to the library today But unfortunately I just found out that they are closed today in certain days That's so weird, they're closed today And they're closed on the weekend, now why? Well, why is there any close on the weekend when my kids will be there later? Oh well, I'm gonna figure that out. But lucky I'm hoping that uh, after I'm retired, I'm starting to think of things that I should be learning in my free time now. But I've always wanted to learn. Uh, I do a lot of crap. My crap, all crap is different. It can be this class in her herbs, healing. I do special med healing as well. So if y'all ever need any healing or oh, it some kind of spells and that no, I never charge. My friends is like, you guys are charging I'm like, oh, I'm still processing, so get my while they're free. Um what was another thing I wanted to share before I end this video? Oh yeah, make sure you always, always protect yourself with the bot that when you do any self hacking or anything worth of energy or magic. Um, I'm gonna try to do that myself. <laughs> the assistant, I even get assessed when I watch, <coughs> when I watch people live stream lately, like they are. I was just watching everything live stream and all of a sudden I get real dizzy and I got nausea. I already shared this in group, so I'm sure you won't mind if I shared it. And I felt like something's trying to take over this so, uh, and apparently it did. It, it made me pass out for any, uh, <coughs> you know, said I was out for, uh, two hours on that couch. I was out for two hours yesterday. And, uh, I was trying, something was trying. You show me things, my mind, I, I have a little bit of clairvoyance and for audience as well. Clairvoyance is the ability to see things with your, with your third eye. Um, so I was beginning to see weird images, not just last time, I was seeing weird images all freaking day. Okay, first of all, I want to share what I saw on that day earlier. I was seeing these little, um, like round shapes. Like, uh, windows, like, on the, um, uh, Amityville house, the top window that are, like, shaped that way. And they run, like, glowing, like, this red. The red, 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 red. So, I don't know what that vision means. Maybe it means it's telling me that, uh, we might be investigating or something. I don't know. I tend to have, um, not only psychic dream, but I also have, um, what do you call it, premonitions, where you dream about the future events, and then it's like a few days, it can be a few days, it can be a week, mine just takes a week or so, um, but I, um, I, I don't know when we'll be this case, I'm gonna go to the, the house for the same movie, and I'm gonna feel house, I believe it's in New York. So, I might hear Theo, sorry. <laughs> um, he's worth on us, so. Anyway, yeah, it's in New York, so I don't see myself going to New York. But that's on me. For a while. Because, why, we have to plan a trip up there, we have to save money up there, and we should not have a whole lot of money. That's how we wish we did. <laughs> But, uh, I'll be traveling more for this. Uh, anyway, going back to the, um, vision. I also have a vision. 
And what I saw was, oh, the moon is right. I always write it down, so I always write down groups, whatever. But it's good to keep a personal journal of your vivid dream, especially vivid dreams, it must be psychic dreams, it must be dreams. So I'm not living. Anyway, okay, I want to try to share before I lose it again. Um, see, I told Ricky that I saw, I can't see like a, like a certificate. You know how they look like on the border? I was just seeing the border part of the, like, a plain document or, it, it's a, um, a little bit of, with the lines around, um, document, certificate, uh, yeah, see, it might be a certificate of some kind, I don't know, but it was cute. I was asking, I was trying to experiment while I was seeing it. I was asking, can it be more clear so I could see what it was written, uh, written on it? Um, uh, it was almost there to the point when it was all blurry, but so, I gotta work on that. When I do see more of these on there, I will definitely share that info right now. It's, 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 it's him in a little bit fuzzy. <clears throat> so after that, <coughs> this spirit was trying to show himself. And I believe it's more. And I first I saw his face coming in like, like that, his face coming in. Like his face is coming through a screen. And then, uh, I saw that, you know, his beard, he had like a beard. I'm not, not big beard, but like a little bit of a beard around his face. And, uh, like he had dark eyes. And he had like a shaved head. I was kind of like tall, like he looked like. And, uh, and it was like he wore a hat, like a soju hat. Top, and, uh, it was kind of, what you had, and it was like a navy color, a Tennessee color suit, it was a navy color uniform, like they wore back in the day, he was either, uh, I must try to ask him, was he a confederate soldier, or, uh, or, or, you, they were, uh, close to, uh, Gettysburg, battlefield, you know, and it's like, I think, I remember hearing confederate, so, uh, press me around, I, uh, I'm just trying to share what I was seeing. And, here, so, and eventually, I saw his whole apparition. And he was, um, holding a long, you know, the long rifle. I bet if I see him in a photograph or something, I might recognize him. But I, I, Cannot draw people whatsoever. I wish I could. That would be cool if I could start drawing what I'm seeing. But unfortunately, the only way I can draw people is by stick figures, you know. <laughs> but I did, however, manage to try it one time and it did too bad. <laughs> drawing. So, uh, maybe if I practice more drawing, I can start sketching my, uh, psych vision. I'm gonna start calling them psychic visions. And I've had many ghost encounters and visions and psychic visions. Premonition. One of the premonition that I actually came to, and I think it was a um, previous life experience. And yes, I think I am an old soul. But I'm also a Cherokee Indian. So I'm gonna fly I'm not too drunk. To magic itself, for that matter. Um, one of my, um, my, fa I would say my best previous psychic, uh, vision was that old premonition that I, I think, I remember being on a, an old, uh, ship, and someone said it could be a sister ship to, um, Queen Mary. No, um, not Queen Mary. Um, it was a sister ship. To the um, Titanic. I know I can't remember what she said when I think it was Titanic. But anyway, I saw it the ship go down the ocean and it like split up into and I saw the people on the water. 
Clicks is very well for you to get it, but I still. And then, uh. But, uh, my friend of mine found the article that the vision I was describing that it was not Titanic, but it was like that big cargo ship that has uh, sunk the ocean years ago. And a lot of people, however, perished on it. So, um, that was one of my best things. And also, I, one of my other ones that I actually came through also was that, uh, I used to have one of those, um, uh, hot kill birds. And I saw its death. And so maybe I have a similar death as well. Yeah, I saw my bird actually, actually fell down the cake and I was like, when I was out in that um, the Tommy and said that your bird died. So like, oh, I was like really heartbroken. I love that bird. I'm sorry, I love animals. So, yeah, they're like family. Yeah, I know they're the best thing. My dad, as y'all know, my dad passed from Brain cancer a uh, year and a half ago. And I believe this, he's been gone, I think he's a total time sooner. That he's still so around. And I think that really has, uh, I'm gonna end it here. I think that really has opened the door even, even more in my mind, like, of the spirit world. So, when you're into the wisdom path, I mean, you have to be open to it. So that way, uh, you'll see more if you had a power on you. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you start to see more. What happened to me? I'm starting to see more, and I'm starting to hear more. So I'll see you that in the next video. You guys have a great day. Stay safe. Bless you, peace.